Hello everyone, this is Dwayne, and I wanted to do a quick movie on the append to PDF feature in FileMaker 9. So this is, you know, the little database that I use, or one of the screens that I use to uh, create my blogs. So let's go ahead and do a find for, oh, let's take a look in the functions blog, and let's pull across our aggregate functions. And we'll do our find. And so I found seven records, you know, through various posts. So I wrote a script called Save as PDF. So when it comes up, it asks us, do we want to create a new PDF or append to existing ones? So let's just say new. And for the sake of the movie, I did bring the dialog box up. So let's just go ahead and call this um, function one PDF. And we're going to save the records currently browsed. And I'm just going to say open the file just automatically. And that's mostly just for the movie. So uh, it's cooking. And so there we kind of have our PDF right there. Um, you can see that we've got three, four pages. And if we zoom in on this a little bit. You know, the count function, you know, little things about it. The picture goes here, that type of thing. Now, uh, to do the append, very important, we want to close this because you can't append and open um, PDF file. So let's say, you know what, in hindsight, I'd like to go ahead and add to that. Um, my get functions. And so currently I wrote up about 33 of those. I think there's about 60 or so. So it's going to be a while. Um, and let's click on our uh, save to PDF. And this time let's just say we want to do an append. So now we need to type in the name well, I guess we actually we can click it. Uh, it's kind of weird. It's grayed out, but we can still click it. So there it is, function one PDF, the one we did in the, f in the previous movie, and this automatically open the file. So let's do our append and scroll that up and zoom it in. Okay, so there's our count function and that type of thing. But we can see that we've got a lot more than four pages that have been appended to it. And these are our get function family. It's pretty interesting, huh? Um, just going back, and let's take a quick look at the script itself. Let's turn on script debugger. Let's run the script. And then let's just um, open the script from here. Well, actually, we can actually see it from here, so I guess there's no real reason to bring up the script maker itself. But you can see there's my show custom dialog box. If you hit the cancel, then I just exit the script. Otherwise, I go to a layout that I use to uh, print my PDF. Now, if my choice is one, I save records as PDF, end if. Normally, folks would use an else if in there. I tend to do nested if just because I think it's more readable. Um, kind of like, you know, my P's and carrots not touching. Um, and down here, uh, if get last message choice equals two, which is append, then I save the records as PDF, but you can see that the only thing that's added to that is the append option. Oh, for giggles, let's just go ahead and open up that script anyway. So there's the script itself, and when we click on the script step, now you can see our options, and there's our append to PDF. So just a quick movie showing off this feature.